Bam, we did it. <laughs> All right, I gotta gotta snuggle myself back in here. I'm trying to go fast because if I go fast, it'll seem like I PB'd. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Does anybody remember the command for switching categories? Like the chat command? But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch to Donut County. Um, this is a really super fun cutesy game. Uh, we're gonna do all achievements. So um, we are playing on a profile, obviously that doesn't have achievement stuff unlocked. Um, let's see if this works. Ah, nice try. Oh well. If anybody figures out the command at some point, I will I will change it. Oh, if it did the same earlier, yeah, maybe it worked. Cool. Okay, so this is a super chill game. I love this game so much. It's a great game to relax to um, if you are just looking for something like very, uh, what's, what's the word? Cathartic? So there's this raccoon that owns this donut shop and he really wants to buy like a helicopter <laughs> and he is the one operating this hole that I'm moving that's sucking everything down into it. And the more stuff he sucks into it, the more points he gets in his account so that eventually he can buy his helicopter. So he's basically just like wrecking the entire town because he wants to buy a helicopter. Get in the hole, fella. Get in the hole, fella. Get in there because we don't need <clears throat> to collect everything on the floor there in order to get it to proceed. We just needed the duck. So yeah, you can see Miro was like, oh, there's a duck outside and he's being so loud. And the raccoon's like, I'll take care of it. And then Miro's like, um, the honking's gone? What did you do? And the raccoon's like, I delivered him a donut. So, the donut shop is just a front for his, like, sucking things down holes business. So later we see that he did, in fact, manage to acquire his quadcopter but somebody broke it. And also there's a bunch of people living in a hole. <laughs> Presumably because they all got sucked down here by BK, the raccoon. Um, and this game is the story of how that happened. It's just, it's very charming and the gameplay is like super relaxing, you know, just very slowly fitting things down holes and the hole gets bigger the more you put in it. That this briefcase is a nightmare. Get, get in there. <laughs> oh no, Shaville, I saw it. Don't think I didn't see it. It was just too painful. I couldn't acknowledge it. So yeah, we're, we're basically just ruining everybody's life. <laughs> These guys are all just minding their own business and I'm like, bye. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of achievements to think about. Most of them like don't require too much effort. 
Um, but there is, honestly, a decent amount of strategy that goes into this run. Um, one of the achievements that we need to keep our eye out for is our Trashpedia, which is an encyclopedia of all of the trash that exists in this town. So we need to basically suck up one of everything, because it's not necessarily required in all levels that you suck everything. Um, as you saw with the with the duck, I left some things on the ground. But we need to make sure it is really windy. I am concerned. Uh, we need to make sure we get one of everything. Because it goes in our trashpedia, and that needs to be complete by the end of the run, so. Launching that guy uh, in, an, in the hot air balloon was one of our trophies. So it's faster to quit out like that than it is to watch that, like, summary of what happened and watch the person falling down into this pit. And yes, it would be faster to do this in Chinese. The text. But... I don't know. I still- I like the story, and I like the thought that I could save more time at any point by just switching it to Chinese, so I haven't switched it yet. <laughs> So I'm trying to make this hole as big as possible before I consume the schnecks because they spring like that and that makes them hard to catch. Get in the hole, schneck. Okay, that rock is being kind of a nightmare. We'll just come back to it. Cool. Thank you, Cheville. I appreciate that. Alright, so we got Schnecktail. We're gonna use that to mess with these chickens a little bit. She is very concerned about the shenanigans the schneck is getting up to. It's so hard to get this chicken to work. There we go. Snacks everywhere. Oh, it's just chaos. We've ruined everything. Come here, chicken. Yoink. So yeah, I don't know. This game kind of reminds me of, like, unpacking. Is that what it's called? You know, you're just, you're trying to make things nice and neat and orderly and that brings some inherent satisfaction, right? While this is happening, I'm gonna try this game command again. Well, now it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh well. Also, I just, I adore this dog's energy. Bye. <laughs> I 
All right, Drinky Drinky Bird here is gonna remove the water from the hole. We can't suck anything into the hole when there's water in it. Um, this won't be the last time that we see Drinky Drinky Birds. But we do need to clear the water because the water has fish in it sometimes, or like that tennis ball. Okay, bye. Hope I didn't need that piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, just super relaxing game. Um, and just very, very chill. Because you get to ruin everybody's day. Let me try this command one more time, but not be, like, a bingus about it. Alright, well, either it worked or it didn't, whatever. So hey, we got some strategy here. As soon as we suck this corn into the same hole that we have this fire pit in, it's gonna make the corn pop. And speedrunners will very intentionally, I will show you, grab this, get in the hole, and then hop under here so that as the corn pops, it doesn't go flying everywhere. And then we have to like go retrieve it again. It just stays right in the hole. Because those crows were there to like come and, and make it harder even to go pick up the popcorn because they would have gone and just tried to like eat it. But we avoid all of that by just being a little strategic with how we pop the popcorn. So each one of these is a little vignette story about, you know, how BK wrecked somebody's life. And we go through what happened to each family. This is the, like, retired couple who retired to the bunny farm. First things first, I need to grab this and get these guys to hop down. But they're gonna munch my carrot and that sucks, so... Come on, bunny. Get out of here. I have places to be. So the thing is, we need two bunnies in the hole, because if you know anything about bunnies, bunnies make more bunnies. And as they make more bunnies, that counts as more things in the hole, so that makes the hole bigger. Eventually, we'll get even more bunnies into the hole. It's gotta get bigger first. Into the hole with ye. Oh god, the physics sometimes. No, bunny! Thank you. 
Get in there! Thank you. <laughs> Just yeeted him to the sky. My bad. Funny explosion. Don't worry about it. Of course, almost none of them landed back in the hole, because that would have been convenient. How dare you? Come here, bunny. So yeah, this poor retired couple is just like, yeah, I want to go to the bunny farm. Bunnies are cute. We'll spend our retired years here. And then I just wrecked their day. Okay, now we do have a trophy to get here. Um, we're gonna light somebody's house on fire. As you do. When you're just n a nice person. Alright, come on. I just- I, I wanna want just wiggle this in here. Wiggle me in. There. We grab the coal that he throws. That's going to allow us to make fire come out of the hole. And over time, it will begin to light this person's house on fire. Sadly. Wasn't me. <laughs> and they're still inside. <laughs> I feel horrible. So we're lighting these trees on fire and that's making these things pop off the trees, which is making the hole bigger. It's all part of the plan. Alright. Trailer's in there. Truck's in there. Because if we're gonna send them down into the great abyss that is the hole, the least we could do is send them with all their possessions, right? Remember, BK is just doing this because he wants a helicopter. Like, he's just being a meanie head because he wants a helicopter. So now he's messing with the guy in town who sells fireworks. So we're gonna light this firework, grab it, and go and bother these birds because, you know, reject authority and everything. <laughs> Any animals that move are really hard to get in that hole. So next, what I was doing before, um, you know, shooting that, that rocket, I was shooting it up here, uh, knowing that we'd have to do that later. Because we need her stuff for our Trashpedia, and we need her herself. So we picked up some popcorn, which is why I'm under here. Again, I, I don't really want that to, you know, to pop in a way where I have to pick up very many of the kernels.
Okay, so now we're going to Gator's place. He's got just the funkiest radio playing. And we are going to do our best to listen to that radio for the entire time. We're going to try to get everything in this level except for the radio. How many stakes do you think you could take? Normal size. Hmm, probably a thousand. Just, you know, how many snakes you think you could take? A thousand? The text in this game, we're skipping by it so fast you don't really get to read it, but the text is just so, so fun. It's really the highlight of the game. Like, you just play very cathartic controls and then just enjoy this really goofy, like character driven story. It's very charming. Alright, so little lizards, really hard to catch. Sorry, Mort. So yeah, check out this music, right? Funky. Buddy, get in the hole. Oh, it's so hard to catch these guys. Alright, cool. But you can see, you know, BK up at the top left there, like controlling the hole. Alright, so we're gonna be really strategic. We can see the radio there on uh, this thing. We're gonna dislodge it. And then, you know, try to get everything except for that. Which means we need to be careful. We can't get too big or else we won't be able to get to that stuff over on the side without accidentally getting the radio. Uh, so in fact, before we get too much bigger, I'm gonna go over here and see if I can take care of this stuff. I don't appreciate how this table just ended up over here. Can we not? Because now you see we're just like huge and it would be very hard to go get that stuff over on the side. Oh no though. Oh no though, I can't get this. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It's- it's unluckily lodged! Ah, oh, we're gonna have to restart! Well, that's unfortunate. We had the radio and everything. Welcome back, Shabille. What did you eat? I'm getting very hungry. We got, we got conned a little bit there. It happens very occasionally in this game. I mean, the levels are so short, it doesn't super matter, you know? Oh, but now we gotta catch the little Liz boys again. Okay, we're gonna be extra careful about those, uh logs this time, those planks. Because we got trolled hard. Get in the hole! Morty! Hey, that just means we get to jam out to this music a little bit more, right? Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna yoink this from out underneath there. That's an even- that's what I wanted to do the first time. That's an even better position for the radio. Alright, give me these. <laughs> Thank you. 
Get them all in there. I'm gonna- that's never happened to me before, and now for the rest of forever when I run this game, I'm just gonna be paranoid. No. No. <laughs> Alright, there's no more planks. We should be okay. Uh-oh. I decimated that tree. Alright, now it's just the house. All right, everything except the radio. We did it. <laughs> and so that got us that music lover trophy. First try. Definitely first try, right? No worries. Okay, so now we're on egg farm. Um, and everybody's really upset with BK, obviously, that he just keeps destroying things. So they're like, dude, start getting things out of the hole. Like, return our stuff to us. And he's like, well, but I basically have enough points to get a helicopter. I don't want to spend my points on anything else. And they're like, dude, just spend the points on a catapult so you can get things out of the hole, please. And so we're gonna we're gonna oblige. Hey Shade Strike, nice to see ya. How are you doing? We're gonna oblige and use our points for a catapult for the hole. Because our friends are yelling at us. So we gotta get these energy drinks real quick, because that's a trophy. And then we'll get this catapult. And that's basically everything we own, and BK is very upset about it. So yeah, now we can now we can throw stuff out of the hole, which is great. And that's helpful, because now we've got a chicken in the hole that we can yeet up into the air. And... The premise of this level is that there's a chicken inside this barn that's very sad that her chicken spouse is nowhere to be seen. So... We are so kindly returning the chickens to each other. So I take this egg, I use it to turn on the uber egg button. And I'm intentionally letting them break because we need a trophy. Cool. Eggs is making us bigger. Easy peasy. So now we can suck up basically anything that this farm has to offer. The level had to load there for a second to let me destroy all these things. Now I'm gonna call it ahead of time. The only thing that we're not gonna get in the hole is this bag at the end of that lever. Because it always happens that way. Yep, there it goes. We never get that. And I don't know why. Thankfully we get it somewhere else so we don't have to worry about it for the Trashpedia. That's definitely what they say, Shabu. Can't can't get the platinum without breaking some eggs. So we gotta get this guy down. His beekeeping operation has gone amiss. Has gone awry. Fam, it is super windy. I know I've said that already, but like it's really windy. I am concerned that we're just gonna like power outage. Alright, 
So we're gonna lure this frog out here with this honeycomb and then yoink him. Eh, I'll worry about these things later. For right now, Froggy's gonna help us here. And every time he eats something, he's gonna get bigger. Which is gonna make the hole bigger. Onward. We've got our frog friend. And we are going to make him as big as possible. <clears throat> as heavy as possible. In order to get this guy down. Which means we need to feed him things. Alright, giant frog guy. You ready? Nice, first try. It can sometimes take a decent bit to, to get that guy out of the tree. Okay, here we go. So this, this is a thing. This chef has one of the hardest trophies in the entire game. He's not a very good chef. His, his cat soup restaurant is, uh, well, it passes health inspection by the skin of its teeth, shall we say. So, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna find this place just riddled with bugs. But I need to cook in his kitchen anyway, uh, and create the super secret soup recipe in order to get a trophy. And while I do that, Cockroaches are going to be chasing me. And if they get into the soup, then it's ruined. There's also the possibility... We're going to deliver the soup to this drinky drinky bird over here on the right. So there's also the possibility... Let's see. We need two shakes of salt, three shakes of pepper. One. Two. I hope that was two. No, birdie, no! No! Okay. One shake of salt. I don't know if that was two. Oh god. Bird! Dude. Bro. I need you to stop. Okay. We're, we're eating these bugs. This is what makes this hard. Because I need to not get that close to the bird or else obviously he eats my soup. And if he eats it before I'm ready, then that's bad. You know? Because it'll just proceed with the level. And we can't let these bugs in, or else they'll ruin the soup as well. Alright, that should be all the salt that we need. Pepper. Eh. Oh, the pepper has to come around again, and we can't trigger the salt. Because we have enough salt. And it should turn orange and it should make Birdie Guy cry. Ooh. Okay, beautiful. We've done it. So yeah, that's like one of the hardest trophies in the entire thing. Getting that exactly right. Because if, like I said, if he drinks that soup before you have 100% made it correctly, it'll still progress. As long as it has enough salt and pepper, it'll progress. And we would be like out here solving the puzzle. Uh, and so we would have to go and like replay this entire level for another chance to do the soup.
All right, onwards. Nice to see that done with. Ghost cat is the next most annoying thing, but that, that shouldn't be that bad. So here we are in the quadcopter. This is the part where BK finally has earned enough points by destroying enough stuff to get his, his helicopter that he's wanted. So he's showing it off to his friend Mira, who's really upset about the way he's been behaving. And so she just smashes it. She's like, look, you don't get your quadcopter until you fix the town because you're being a jerk. You don't deserve this. So in other words, she's being a good friend and she's calling him out for his bad behavior, you know? We're gonna, we're gonna just GM this in here. All right, cool. Easy peasy. No, the water wheel is not done. And the water wheel is concerning. We got ghost cat next and then we've got the water wheel. Like, basically, execution-wise, the rest of the game is decently hard. I know I said it's cathartic, and if you're doing it slowly, it is cathartic, but... If you're trying to do this with some measure of strategy, then... Yes, it's difficult from this point on. I, I need... I need candle, please. Thank you. And candle, please. Thank you. And candle, please. Thank you. So the fridge pops open and we get a flashlight. The flashlight has a little bit of battery that we need to use um, to keep scaring this cat who's wearing this mask. Uh, every time we scare him, we run out of battery and we gotta go get more. Um, and in the meantime, I'm trying to get these things to be a little bit bigger. You know, we're, we're simultaneously doing what we need to do and cleaning up the room for later. If it would let me, and it's being a real jerk about it. Alright, cat. We're actually not doing too bad cleaning up this room. Here's the cat again. This time we'll open the shutter, grab this battery, scare the cat, and that causes him to jump on the light and finally light up the room. And we actually did really well with catching everything that was in the room before that. So... Uh, this section should not be that bad. Bye. Yeah. 'Twas easy. It's literally just like you can get stuck in a loop of like not really being big enough to pick up anything in that room. And it gets very annoying. Okay, so now here's the water park. The problem with the water park is that there's water. <laughs> like, unironically, that is the problem. So like I said before, when the hole has water in it, you can't pick things up until you get rid of the water. Um, 
And so it's technically possible to have the thing that's making your hole fill with water be in the same place as a thing that you need to pick up so that you can never pick that thing up. And we're gonna, we're gonna like try to not make that happen. So we're moving this guy. Oops, that, it popped when it was in there for no reason. We're gonna move this guy all the way up. We got this fish to um, help us spin the, oh, he didn't quite make it. We've got a fish in here if we run out of balloons to spin and help us get more balloons, but. thought I was out of the way enough. My bad. Here you go. Come crashing down, buddy. Alright, we're gonna pick up some other stuff first. Make ourselves a little bit bigger. So this is easier. Alright, so now... Here's where it begins. We grab this. All right, that should be fine. We really, really needed to yeet that gumball machine as far away from that water pipe as possible. Because if that gumball machine lands directly on the water, it becomes basically impossible to pick it up because it, the hole constantly fills with water as you're trying. So that, that was good. ruining these people's day. Alright, I'm pretty sure the only thing we actually need to consume is the water park itself. Yep. So we didn't need the rest of the debris. And we're almost there. We are almost there. So obviously, the town is like kind of on fire. We're really ruining things. So traffic is all backed up, right? I want that rock, but it decided that I'm not allowed to. Thankfully, the coffee cup came off of his car really fast. That can, for some reason, be like a, a real sticking point. Getting him to accelerate fast enough that the coffee cup comes off. So these guys have just camped out in the interstate watching TV because the traffic isn't moving. Yo, that TV came in clutch and just forced that log in. That was great. Donuts, please. So there's the radio. We just pulled a radio into the hole, which is actually like super, super important. I tricked that raccoon. Uh, into grabbing a donut and dropping his camera. So now I flashed the camera in his face and it made him fall down. Alright, you want to come out first? Fine. But yeah, we, we pulled a radio, which is really important, because we skipped the radio in Gator's level. Uh, and we need it for the Trashpedia, so... This guy can be kind of a nightmare. 
Oh, we got him on the first try, though. Come on down, buddy. <gasps> How dare. Hey. Get down in here, you jerk. There, we just wrecked his quad instead. Get on, get on the hot air balloon, thank you. Oh, Mort always looks judgy. That's just kind of his MO. Yeah, resting judgy face. Exactly. The so next thing we have to do. The whole town is like, BK, we really need you to just turn our town back into a town, please. So he's like, okay, I'll go talk to the trash king. Uh, and so he tries to text the trash king. And we're going to use this an op as an opportunity to get our trophy for 100 quacks. Quacks are like the emoji that you can use in texting in this game. So we're just going to quack a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to convince the trash king uh, to give us permission to put everything back. Or rather, for a trash king to just do it himself. And we're just gonna quack at him for a while. Because this is a trophy. This is probably a good conversation starter with your boss, right? Oh, my arm. <laughs> I'm just mashing as fast as I can. There we go. TK stands for trash king. Which is who he's talking to. So he started to type and then he never responded, so BK's just like, okay, never mind, sorry. So we're gonna have to break in. If we want anything to change, if we want to fix anything, we're gonna have to break in and just do it ourselves. Sadly, there's not really much that we can do. But we got a friend here who's created a hacking chip. Ooh, that was pretty close. And we are gonna wonk that right into the TV. And that's going to get us in. Now, next thing we have to do, which is also challenging, uh, we got to sneak into the Trash King's super secret treasure vault, which requires a very specific input code. We're going to need the help of a snake. <laughs> We're going to need a code, a snake, and uh, some, some passcodes, some toilet paper. It's gonna be great. Donk. <laughs> so here's the trash king. And he's doing all sorts of uh, experiments and stuff. Here's the snake I was talking about that we're gonna need. Alright, hi snake buddy. So our super secret code, we're gonna move this down over here. And now we're gonna take this slow, because the snake tail wiggles and that makes it really, really difficult. Because we can only hit these buttons once. So we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna wait. Then we're gonna go left. Oh, see, see, I've hit it like a million times. 
That's the challenge of doing that with the snake tail. Okay. Up. Oh. And then we're gonna go left. <laughs> and then we're gonna go down. <laughs> And then left, and then grab. Yeah! Alright, that was not bad at all. That's really, really hard to do. Because of how the snake tail just like wobbles. Because it's not about what spot you end up on, it's about hitting the buttons correctly. So, if you accidentally double tap one of the buttons, it doesn't, it doesn't work anymore. So here's our favorite frog friend. Gotta make him even bigger. Oh, froggy. Get your bugs, buddy. Because he needs to be big enough to just absolutely wreck this. Nice. First try. Get the bunnies. Bunnies do what bunnies do. Also, yo, thanks for the donation, by the way. I see it. I don't know when it happened, but thank you. I appreciate you. All for a good cause, of course. And, uh... It is true that there are some donation incentives. We don't have any incentives for Donut County, but we do have some incentives to pick the tunic color for Link's Awakening and the costume for Resident Evil. So, still some bid wars out there if you're interested. All right, I'm taking, I'm taking this. But real quick, here we go. This is the room that we unlocked. This is the Trash King's super secret treasure room. So we have to get in here and we have to find a way to get the game to let us suck up this gold quadcopter because we need it for the Trashpedia. And this is by far the fastest I've ever gotten that gold. That was ridiculously fast. Like that was seriously like on my splits, that was two and a half minutes faster. Oh, thank you, Cheville and Shade. Given that, thank you. I was so focused on on sucking things into holes, I didn't notice. But it is much appreciated. Alright, so we are almost done. We're just ruining the Trash King's little little place here. I love the Trash King. When those uh, emergency lights came on before, he really like tried to play it off like it was no big deal. Um, like he he literally was just like, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, like he's doing now. Like it, it's fine. I literally just turned on the emergency lights because I I felt like it. Nothing is happening, don't worry. Alright. So we need- whoopsie. We need this, please. Hey, pop out a thing! Alright, fine, I need water. This is being a, a right bingus bongus. So we're trying to do something very specific here. Actually, we're trying to do a couple of very specific things. I need this, please, to- yeah. To pop out one of those without me sucking it up is what I needed. So we're gonna get a trophy here by lighting this and going over 
It didn't, it didn't let me do it. This is being a real troll right now. All right, drinky drinky me. All right, we're lighting this. It's going in here. Bam, there we go. We needed that trophy. Because we needed to disrespect his authority. Alright. And now we can actually finish the, the level as intended. Which is, is much simpler. We literally just light this. And then take it over here. Easy peasy. So the Trash King has called us to his office. We're in trouble. But, you know, he's luring us in with donuts. here and now he's trapped us he's trapped the hole and here's the trash king who has his hand forever stuck in a pickle jar and he is basically giving us an ultimatum like hey Betray your friends, and I'll give you this gigantic quadcopter. The king quadcopter. Meanwhile, outside, Mira and the possum are dealing with, you know, all of this security. While BK is deciding if he wants to betray his friends. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. This is hard. This is the hardest trophy. And it comes right at the end, of course. Boss fight, King Quad. We need to... do a flawless fight against King Quad. Take no damage. Good news is, if we fail to do that... Um, we can get another trophy instead, but it's much, much easier to get the flawless victory first. It, like, it's much less stressful. So King Quad is trying to fill this hole with cement, which will stop me from picking up one of the bombs that I use to explode him, and that gives him a hit against us. So we only get one chance to throw the bomb. Uh, and we we don't get another chance to hit him if uh, he fills it with cement. So there's two ways to lose. He's throwing the small bomb first every time. That's like not at all what I want. Please stop moving. Oof. Okay, just because he's dead doesn't actually mean it's over though. Flawless is not yet complete. That's like only half of it. And the next part is arguably even harder because we have like a one second window to do this. So here we go. BK is choosing not to betray his friends. He's bringing out this hacking chip. I need to pick up BK 
and toss him up here. Oh, thank God. Like, exactly that fast. We didn't have that much more time. So now, the King Quadcopter is hacked, which means I, like, I just need to not whiff with any of these bombs. The bombs can, if I'm not careful, come up and, like, clip the edge of the hole, and then they won't hit him. So we're trying to be, like, really careful here. Got it. All right, so that was Flawless Quad King, thankfully. <laughs> Mostly it's just like the BK thing where he like pops out of that hole and then you have like one second to pick him up and hack the quad before it flies away. Uh, that's honestly like the hardest part. All right, so we go up here. Gotta destroy that statue. Uh, for a trophy. Yeah, it's cruising from here. That was the hard part done, so. We are just wrecking everything because we can. You guys ruined everything. He's still got the pickle jar though, so don't worry. So we're gonna put the town back to rights. We're gonna lift everybody out of here and restore everything to the way it was. Bye. <laughs> This guy, for some reason, reveals that he's actually, like, a fancy coyote in a suit. Because, you know, why not? Jellybean gets to go back and have fun on his chicken farm. Uh, the beekeeper chose to keep his giant frog friend, which is pretty cool. They're just gonna be buddies forever. I am not necessarily sure that the chef is going to do anything to improve his restaurant and make it not have cockroaches in it. See, it shows the gators down here with his radio, even though we didn't suck up the radio on purpose. Alright, up we go. So now we are flying the quadcopter that we have rightfully earned this time. Gotta fly it through here for a trophy. And then way up here, we gotta take a look at the Trash King's like secret base to get a trophy. It's up here. <laughs> We're almost there. I'm imagining, right, that this is a trophy because most people wouldn't, like, actually go all the way up here. Hi, buddy. Alright, so we're done flying. Here's the credits. So now... Yes, we open the Trashpedia. And now we get to go through and see everything that we've picked up. We need to make sure the Trashpedia is complete, and if it's not, <laughs> I'm going to panic. Um, also, it's really, really fun to read these entries. Like, all of them are super fun. They're like BK's idea of what all of this stuff is. Alright, cool. So there is the Trashpedia complete. And now, we get to go back to the boss fight for our final trophy. So time is going to be coming up here. I don't know if uh, Octini is around, but... 
I mean, it doesn't matter. We're less than the estimate anyway. So, yeah. Our final trophy is literally just to lose. Yep, we got the radio. We got the radio uh, on the highway. Somebody was listening to the radio. So we sucked that in, even though we skipped Gator's radio. So we just have to wait for King Quad to finish this fight. Yep. The, the god gamer strategy is to lose. Yeah, Mort's like really strong. You should see, he can lift up like five pound rocks with just his face. Yeah, my final split is literally called lose to win. But you can see, right, that the he fills the hole with, with cement. And so then we can't throw the bombs at him. Uh, but we have a lot more health than it looks like, so... So yeah, I guess as we're we're waiting to lose here, um, thanks so much everybody for the donations, for pet and pickles, and for everything else. I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, don't forget we've got incentives coming up for outfit choices, bid wars for uh, Link's Awakening and Resident Evil. So just because my runs are over doesn't mean we don't still have things to donate to. And of course later. Um, we will have some more runs like Tic Tac's Shadow of the Colossus, where you can pet the horse. So we've got plenty of things like that still coming up. Uh, and this should be the final hit, so we're gonna we're gonna call time here in just a second once the platinum trophy pops. Uh, so timing will end now. There's the platinum. Uh, and there's this cute little thing, uh, after where they're talking about, like, doing it again and what kind of character they would play in Mortal Kombat and stuff. And they're very cute. I love this game so much. If you've never played it, definitely check it out. It's very adorable. Uh, the writing is fantastic. We skipped basically all of it, but it's definitely worth checking out. Um... But thanks for the GG's, everybody. And yeah, don't forget to support Rip Medical Debt. I appreciate those of you who donated throughout the the run and so far. Uh, stick around. There will be plenty of other fun runs today and tomorrow. We are going uh, for quite a few more hours still, so there's still plenty to see. Thanks for hanging out. I'll pass it over to the next runner. Um, but I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Um, yes, do please stick around, everyone. We have Kingdom Hearts Final Mix coming up next. Um, probably let you listen to some tunes for a few minutes. We're running uh, a few minutes ahead of schedule, so we will not be in a huge rush to get to the next one. So if anybody has been sitting here for the last... I'll unmute my microphone. How about that? Hours. Um, um, if anybody else has been sitting here for the last 14 and a half hours, uh, this would be a good opportunity to get up and stretch because we got a few minutes before the next run. That was um, muting the microphone. <laughs> all right. We'll be back soon. Oh, Sable, I, um...